More than 3,000 Jews, Christians, and Muslims held a vigil at Kansas City's Kahilath Israel Synagogue to pray for the victims and families of the Pittsburgh Tree of Life Synagogue massacre. They were murdered because somebody thought that they were Jewish. It's a painful flashback for Mindy Corporon, whose son Reet and father William were killed four years ago by an anti-Semitic gunman outside the Overland Park Jewish Community Center in Kansas City. You know, Emily, I think that I have had so much grief on my own and processed so many things, uh, you know, Reet's death and my dad's death and how they died. They were murdered violently. My dad was shot about two feet away with a gun and he was murdered in front of Reet. And so Reet had to have seen it happen. And then the gun was turned on Reet. Mindy and her family are not Jewish. Mindy turned her pain and confusion over losing a son into a self-actualizing learning experience that even made her question her own Christianity. So I did, I did a deep dive into Judaism because I really did want to understand why do people hate them so badly? Am I going to find something that's some deep, dark secret? I never thought to myself, there is no God, N not ever. But I did question, am I supposed to be Christian? Maybe the most peaceful place is Judaism, and that's why they're being attacked. Um, I didn't find any deep, dark secret in Judaism. There is none. You know, it, it is about love and leaving the world in a better place and doing good to others. It was on this journey that Mindy says she got a call from God with clear instructions. After that, I asked God what's going on, and that's when I heard God say, bring my people together. I want you to bring my people together. She formed a local nonprofit called Faith Always Wins. And on the one year anniversary of Reed and William's deaths, she carried out the first annual Seven Days Make a Ripple, Change the World movement. You know, Emily, my big goal is to stop hate crimes, religious hate crimes, that is my goal. My goal is to is to help people heal and people who hate are hurting. And even though Mindy says the pain of losing a child and a father is something that time can never heal, it's the assistance of community, strangers, and a connection to Reed's ever-present spirit. We have an audio recording of Reed Underwood singing the national anthem that gives her the courage to continue. Oh, the land of the free and the home of the brave. Emily Francis, I-24 News.